morning, YouTube, and Happy New Year. Well, we are now in January of 2022. I hope everybody had a great holiday season. Um, and I wish everybody happiness, health, and safety in 2022. I'm going to do today five of my favorite fountain pens from 2021. And they're not in any particular order. It's just fountain pens that I discovered or I, that I acquired within the last year or two that I just really enjoyed in 2021. So let's jump into it. Okay, pin number one, I will say that made the list is my Esterbrook SD. This is the uh, Rocky Top Special Edition um, with the journaler's nib. I, um, I don't remember where I acquired this from. I think it was either Van Ness Pins, I think I, I got this one from. Um, it's absolutely a fabulous writer. Um, I got this one with the journal, journaler's nib edition, so I paid a little bit extra for it. Um, and I absolutely love this pen. It's got some gold shimmer in it, and it's just quite a beautiful pen. Here's the nib on it. And it's probably one of the smoothest writing pens I've ever, <laughs> I've ever owned in my arsenal that I currently have. So that's pen number one. Pen number two, um, I acquired this in 2021. This is the Y Studio Revolve pen. Um, I got this by accident, actually. I was trying to buy the portable version of the Y Studio pen. This is a friction, how does this uh, twist off? I thought it was friction fit. It is. It's a friction fitted um, pen. Oh, that, that snap sound is very satisfying. It's hard to get on and off, which is good. Um, so you know it's not gonna go anywhere on the cap. Um, I got mine engraved with my initials on it. And this has got brass body, and this is also in a fine point. This pen is a beautiful writing pen from Taiwan. Um, they do have lighter weight resin bodies. You cannot uh, post this one at all, unlike the Estabrook, which you can post. Um, but this is a beautiful writing pen as well. And I just got done um, running out of ink in it. None of these are ink, so I won't be doing writing samples in these. I just pulled these out of my case. Um, the next pen that I was quite surprised with that I bought in 2021 is the uh, Peniter, I think that's how it's pronounced, Peniter uh, pen from Italy. Um, I love the movement of the acrylic in this pen. This is the full metal jacket. This has probably one of the best, lightest, uh, springiest clips I've ever seen in all the fountain pens that I do own. This is also a magnetic fit, magnetic fitted cap. Um, flat finials, I really do like that. They have Peniter in there, and the end cap is kind of rounded um, with just a silver metal cap at the end for the the bottom the cap band is really nice it's got uh peniter written in there and with some really wonderful swirling of the material and this one also should be a fine nib pen i don't ever buy never i never really buy i'm sorry medium fountain pen so this is probably a fine pen i mean a fine nib and it is also a gorgeous, uh, fantastic writer. This one I got from Goulet Fountain Pens. Next up, uh, acquired at the DC Pen Show in 2021, um, is my first ever Franklin Kristoff is making an appearance in my case now. Um, this is a gorgeous pen, really well written. I got the um, flat finials on the ends. Um, I got this as a special grind right there on spot at uh, the, the pin show. This is a twist top, and this is a Nakamori, uh, I think is how it is announced, Nakamura uh, Sig nib. So it's a special italic grind cursive nib. Um, absolutely another fabulous present surprise. 
I would probably get another nib unit from them and just a regular medium because this one is ground quite fine. Um, almost like the Japanese standard. Um, so this is fountain pen number four. And lastly and not least, um, my long anticipated <laughs> and acquired last year, my Momento Z Leonardo Zero. Um, I love this pen. It's another Italian pen. So Italy made its appearance in my, in my pen case. Um, it's got a conical finial on the top. I've got this one in the silver uh, band. You also can get this in gold. Um, they nicely number the editions uh, of their pens. Let me see if I can find this right there. Um, so each pen is numbered so that you know how that is in the arsenal of what they've produced. This one is 1,448 out of how many, I don't know. Um, but this one is also just a beautiful um, fountain pen, writes extremely well. I will be trying to acquire more of those later. This one is also, and this one is an extra fine. Um, I think I told you before, uh, if you watched my channel previously, that I was, I had issues with the shipment of this pen and I had to exchange and return it to Pen Chalet who promptly lost the pen. So I'm out of that cash flow for the pen. But um, I bought a fine and an extra fine because I thought I lost the pen, then I found the pen, then I shipped the pen that I didn't want back and they promptly lost it and uh, never received it according to them, but not according to the US Postal Service. I digress. Um, therefore, these are the top five fountain pens for me for 2021. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, if you like the content of this channel, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. That will really help me out with my channel. Um, I'll be coming forward with more material coming in 2021. I think the next one I will release will probably be top accessories that I use with my fountain pens. It's a relatively short list, but they're things that actually help me maintain these wonderful writing instruments. All right, guys. Thank you for stopping by. Take care until the next one. Bye. Bye.